New at 10, a horrible case of animal cruelty. This dog was found in Creek County with its front paws tied so tight, the rope cut to the bone. Investigative reporter Katie Higgins is live with what animal activists are offering for information leading to an arrest. Katie. The Oklahoma Alliance for Animals is offering $5,000 to find whoever did this. That's how important it is for them to get this abuser off the streets. The Oklahoma Alliance for Animals was calling this pup Lucky. They were calling the dog Lucky, but his real name is Larry. Okay. And so we're calling him Lucky Larry. <laughs> Jamie Suarez is the president of the group. She says Lucky Larry was found by chance by a family on Sunday. I guess they had been like on the back part of their property and they found this dog. They were just shocked. Someone intentionally tried to leave the dog for dead. The photos are so graphic we won't show them. Someone had wrapped this rope around his front paws so tight the dog couldn't walk. The rope had cut all the way to the bone. When they found um, Larry, he was wagging his tail. You know, I mean, they're so forgiving. Uh, pets are very forgiving dogs. The family that found him brought him to the vet immediately and found Larry had a microchip. His owner says he'd been missing about a month. The two now reunited. He's, uh, his owner told me that he's walking and jumping and playing and uh, despite his little little legs that are bandaged up. Now the OAA wants to find who did it. They're offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. The Creek County Sheriff's Office is also working the case, hoping to put an unlucky someone behind bars for the crime. I've been told, and it is, you know, posted on Facebook, that there was a white Jeep and two individuals involved. Now, there, or we did reach out to the owner, but he told us that he would like some privacy just to spend some time with his dog while he recovers. If you do have any information about what happened or how that dog ended up there, please call the Creek County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters. I'm Katie Higgins, Fox 23 News.